The battery in the chirp cap needs to be activated before pairing with your chirp. Locate the two tabs inside the chirp cap and push them firmly outwards to release the transparent top cover of the cap. Remove the white strip underneath the battery by gently pulling it out. If the battery comes out, simply place it back, positive face up, by lining it up against the small metal tab above the website address. Firmly push it down until it clicks into place. A yellow light will flash. Slide the transparent cover back onto the chirp cap using the two tabs to guide it and press firmly with your thumbs while holding the bottom rim of the cap until you hear both tabs click. Your chirp cap is now powered. Download and install the Chirp app by scanning the QR code with your smartphone or searching for the Good Natured Chirp app on the App Store. Follow the instructions on your phone to install the app. Create a login. You'll have access to set up instructions and be ready to pair the app with your trap. Detector cards help you find the best location for your trap. Fold your rodent detector cards in half and place them in different locations. Choose locations that are sheltered, where rodents feel safe eating. Avoid open or busy spots. The right trap location increases your chances of catching them. If you see bite marks on your rodent detector cards, this is a great place to install your trap. Press firmly on the two tabs while sliding the trap mount down to release it. Screw the trap mount onto a straight tree or post, about a hand width above the ground. Do not over tighten the screws or you won't be able to mount the trap. Tilt the trap body slightly and lower it onto the top locking tab of the trap mount. As you press downwards, the trap body will lock in place with a click. If you're using a trap stand, simply attach the trap to the stand in the same way. Remove the black cap from the gas canister. Screw the canister firmly into the trap and hand tighten. Your trap is now live. Check that Bluetooth is switched on and that your phone is not in flight mode. Wake up the chirp cap by shaking it four or five times until you see a yellow light flashing. The chirp app will let you know once you've successfully paired. If the pairing doesn't happen, try shaking the cap for longer. Once paired, you can name your trap, add a photo and locate it on the map. Remove the 10 cent coin to activate the automatic floor pump. Push it into the shroud cap until its edge sits aligned with the rim of the shroud cap. Unscrew the cap and wipe this excess lure below your trap to start attracting rodents. Screw the automatic lure pump in first with a few turns, then push the cap down and screw it until you hear a click. Use the test rat provided to test fire your trap. Once folded, reach the test rat up in the trap. The striker will fire with a bang. Remove the test rat from the trap. Never put your hand or fingers inside. When at your trap, open the Chirp app. If there is a new kill to report, Chirp will send this data to your phone and you'll get a notification. It can sometimes take up to 30 seconds. If nothing happens, you might need to wake up Chirp. The best way to do this is to briefly remove the chirp cap, shaking it four or five times until you see a red light flash. This lets chirp know you're there and speeds up the data collection process. A red flashing light means that chirp is awake and connectable. A yellow flashing light means chirp is sending the data to your phone. Either you've got a kill and you'll receive an app notification, or you'll see the last sync field update with the time checked. If you're a real data lover and can see what pest has been killed, you can add the kill time or record it as scavenged if you don't see anything under your trap.